Hey everyone, Donovan Brown here. Running microservices can be tough. How do you store state? How do you perform service-to-service -service invocation? Where do you store secrets? Well, Dapper is here to help. Dapper is an event-driven, portable runtime for building microservices on cloud and edge. In this video, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to set up. Let's go. Good morning, everyone. No, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, perfect. Dapper makes writing microservices easy and works with any language, even languages that have not been invented yet. Using the powerful building blocks of Dapper simply requires making an HTTP or a gRPC request. You can run Dapper locally on your dev machine or in Kubernetes on-prem or in the cloud. First, download and install the Dapper CLI from dapper.io and Docker Desktop. If running on Windows, make sure Docker Desktop is configured to run Linux containers. Now, from a terminal, let's confirm Docker is running by typing Docker PS. Great, Docker is up. But we need the containers running to support Dapper. To download and run the images, simply type Dapper init. Dapper will download the required images and start them in Docker Desktop. You can see the containers by typing Docker PS. With Docker ready, we can now type dapper run. This will start dapper so we can begin using the building blocks. In this video, we're going to use the state store, which provides state management capabilities for CRUD operations, transactions, and more. The only information we need is the port that dapper is running on. To find it, simply scroll up in the terminal. I'm going to use an application called Postman to send my request to Dapper. To save state, you use a POST request. The address is localhost on the port we just copied, slash v1.0, slash state, slash state store. In the body, I'm going to paste some JSON with my dog's name and send the request. Now that I have data saved, I can retrieve the value by changing the method from POST to GET and adding the name of the item I want to the end of the address and send the request. My dog's name hybrid was returned. To prove I can do this from anywhere, I'm going to copy the address and return to my terminal. Using PowerShell, I'm going to issue a get request. Just as before, we get the information. To delete an item, change the method to delete. Now when we attempt to get the item again, there is no content. By default, the state store is backed by Redis. You can switch the state store to any of the supported components without changing a single line of your code. Dapper is very easy and you can use it from anywhere. To learn more, visit dapper.io and join the community on Discord. Now, let's try that again. Good morning, everyone. Oh, perfect. 